Hi, I'm Tori Thompson and I'm the CFO at Our Calling. Here at Our Calling, um, we provide resources, we provide Christ, and we provide love. It's a homeless resource center. We're not a shelter, but we do provide people placements. And so with that, what we do is we basically ask them two questions. Do you want to get to know Jesus? And do you want to get off of the streets? You know, we try to place them in the best possible way. And I am the CFO, and so my task, what God has given me, is to make sure that we are good stewards of everything that He gives to us. And that we provide all the resources that we are to provide to our homeless friends, um, and that we do it with excellence. As God has said, the least of these, those are the ones that we need to be serving. And so I am still living out my dream in ministry at our calling, which I didn't think was possible, but I am. Concord has been embedded in my life since about 2008. One day, you know, I was on the website and I'm looking and I'm like, oh, they got a job opening on staff. I applied, but not really thinking I was gonna get the job because I wasn't really a member. I was just dating Concord. My last interview was with Pastor Carter and then the next thing I know, they offered me the job. The Listening to God series is really good because it makes you go back and hone in because God does speak to us in whispers. Uh, he's not gonna be a burning bush, as Pastor Carter said, outside our door saying, hey, you hear me? Um, it's usually a whisper, and it's usually him saying, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. Hey, look over here. But you do have to cut out all the noise. Jeremiah 29 and 11, you know, I love that scripture because it lets me know that God has a plan for me. And he has a plan for me not to fail, but to make it and make it and make it with his path, his dreams, his way. Um, and so that's my go-to scripture. Whenever I feel like, okay, where you at, friend? Where you going? You know, what are you doing with your life? I'm always going back to Jeremiah 29 and 11. On staff, I was there 12 years and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved everybody that I worked with. Um, and I miss it. God, I think I done volunteered at everything at Concord Church. <laughs> when I think about it, it's real funny. Because I was on AV, I was on the writing ministry, I was in the choir, and then Sister Carter came and she's like, hey, I want you to lead a small group. That was probably the best small group I ever had. We did so much together, and the relationships that I developed out of that was amazing. We lost my mother-in-law. 2016, we lost my dad and my father-in-law and my little cousin. But I think having my small group there to support me, to walk me through it, to call and check on me, to make sure that I'm good, it is just amazing. And even though I have my family, it's nothing like having extra family. And we all study the Word of God, which is a good thing because you have that support system. And it doesn't mean we do everything right, but it means that you have that accountability. They are there for you. Um, they help walk through all your different seasons of life, and you're there for them as well. And I think it's really important to be a small group leader because it grows you. It, it takes you from being, you know, just a babe in Christ to really just like going to that maturity level, going to that next level, wherever you're at.